Hello everyone. Now we are discussing type of force friction. Okay. Now friction is a force when two bodies are in contact with each other. In this video, we are capturing what is friction, advantages of friction, and disadvantages of friction. Okay. Now, what is friction? Friction force is a force that acts in an opposite direction of the movement. And the force which always opposes the motion of one object over another. Object in contact with it is called friction. Like if you are placing your hands close together and rub each other. When both the hands are in contact then during the rubbing you feel some heat because of presence of friction. Okay. Now. Advantages of frictions. Friction enables us to walk without slipping. It is because of the friction between the sole of the shoes and the ground prevent us from the slipping. Like in the figure, we are walking on the road and foot movement pushing backward and surface is pushing forward. Road is pushing forward. Okay. Now, next is movement of frictions. While we are walking, we push the ground backward and the frictional force acts in the opposite direction that is in the forward direction and prevent us from the slipping by making the balance of both forces walking. Friction help us to walk Walking on a slippery ground is difficult because friction on the slippery ground is less than due to which we may slip. Okay, now second is friction enable us a car to move on a road without skipping. Sorry, without skidding. It is because of the friction between the tires of the car and the road which enables car to move forward without skidding. If there were no friction, car would stay where it was and it will not stop or break. You will not apply the brake because of absence of friction. You will see the diagram pushing of the car tire and road wheels friction force. Third, second is, third is friction enables a car to move on a road without skidding. It becomes sometimes difficult to drive and control the car on the wet road. Because of water present on the road, it reduces the friction and cars or motorcycles slips are difficult to drive on that road. Okay. Friction enables us to write and draw on the paper. Because of the friction between the tip of the pencil and the paper, carbon particles from the pencil lead rubs off it from it due to the friction which appears as a black mark on the paper and if there is no friction we will be unable to write on the paper friction also enables us to pick up and hold things in our hands like glass cup of tea some bread some ice creams we can also hold a glass tumbler in our hands because of the friction between the tumbler, glass and our hand. Similarly, we can pick up the books lying on the desk by our hand because of presence of friction. 
like if we are placing glass in our hand then we will we have friction but if the glass is slippery and some oil on it we are unable to hold the bottle of glass in our hand and it slips down okay now friction enable us to light a match stick friction also produces heat because of the heat the compound on the match stick burns as we rub the match stick against the rough surface of the match box then friction between both of them produces heat and this heat burns chemicals present on the head of the match stick and it lights up okay now in the same sense if the match box or match stick is wet there will be less friction and we are unable to light the match stick okay now next is the disadvantages of friction first friction wears away the soles of our shoes when we walk on the road then the surface of the shoes keep on breaking off slowly due to the due to which the sole of our shoes wear out slowly due to which shoes get damaged and becomes unfit to wear like this after before tires of vehicle wear out gradually due to friction after some times uh, our tires are will like plain and they have no grooves and lines because of friction like the shoe tiny particles of the tire also break down due to friction which when they run on the roads the same thing also happen when the with the bicycle or cycles okay now next is friction wears out the brake pads of the vehicles gradually brake pads brake shoes okay brake shoes is made of the rubber when the brakes of the vehicles are applied a lot of friction is produced and as a result car car stops friction wears out the brake pads gradually and after some time you have to change your brake shoes okay friction wears out steps of a staircase in buildings and foot bridges the friction between the sole of the shoes and wear away hard stones steps slowly due to which such type of staircases are usually seen at railway station offices old buildings regular use of public stairs as a result uh, it will go cause to be damaged because of the friction like this friction slow down the motion friction reduces the motion of moving parts of machine it in fact all the moving things such as car buses airplanes boats ships etc are slowly down by the friction and because of this we have to change the moving parts of machine after different times okay if you have any question related to the friction advantages and disadvantages and any new findings then share with your teacher in the classroom and discuss with your dear teacher thank you conclusion friction is a necessary evil we hate it sometimes but we also need it because of friction we lose heat like fan is moving it is because of friction after some time you will feel fan is heat up uh, water pump is moving and after some time you will feel its heat up it is very useful but harmful too okay thank you